great happy ending. That's why we all grew up watching like fairy tales and things like that, Cinderella, because we wanted to live happily ever after. Welcome inside the show with Shamara and friends. Super excited to be inside of CMJ Branding Agency, yes. the owner, Christina Michelle. Yes. Christina always. Yes. And I love her story. Because listen, I don't care where you come from, you you grew up and you did something that you were not supposed to do. Because guess what? At the end of the day, if you don't work, you don't eat. That's right. And most parents, most folks who are hungry, you're gonna stay hungry by any means necessary to feed your family. Correct. From prison to redemption. Welcome. Yes. Hello. How are everybody doing? You know, I am so, so delighted that Shamar picked me for her person today. Like she said, prison to redemption. I have a documentary coming out very, very soon, but it's about my life. It's about the struggles I've been through, me leaving my kids. Back up. I'm Christina. I'm from Hopkins, South Carolina. Um, 29061, shout out 29061. Yes, we're here in my branding agency, um, Christina Michelle J. Branding Agency, known as CMJ Branding. Um, my documentary, I want to speak a little bit about that. Um, back in 2005, I had got indicted. I got indicted with the feds. Um, and stop right there. Okay. Because when you say indicted, you know, um, everybody is a man in their own hood. Shout out to DMX, hate to qu quote rappers, but you know, that's how I grew up. Yes. When, when you say you got indicted by the feds, what does that mean? Were you in a corner selling drugs? I'm assuming it was drug related. It was drug related. Um, when I got indicted, it was already a case. It was already 21 people on the indictment. I was not on the indictment until after the fact. But, um, you know, when you have so much love and try to help so many people, mm -hmm. you know, you get burned in the end. And so that what it was with me. You know, I'm not the one to say, oh, I didn't do nothing. You know, I shouldn't have been on that case. You know, yes, I did what I did. I, you know, I was out here um, selling drugs and taking care of a lot of people. I was still a business owner. But that's code in the streets. Yes. It's like you go down, you go down by yourself. It's like it's not no, it's a no snitching kind of system. You know what I mean? Yes, totally. So is that what you were guarding? Yes. And protecting that? Yes. Were you a mother prior to being oh, incarcerated? Yes. Very sensitive. Did you think about your children? Uh -huh. You have four children. Right. Did you think about them before you were locked up? How many years were you locked up? Uh, well, I had got sentenced to 262 months, mm -hmm. 21 years, 10 months, but I did 151 months. And that was just the worst part of it all. Me um, being separated from my kids, and when I talk about that, it's very, very touching to me all the time. Um, I asked that question because I'm a mom. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I wasn't in the streets, but I was on them. No, I wasn't on the streets, but I was in them. Mm -hmm. A lot of my friends sold drugs growing up. Mm -hmm. I grew up in a three bedroom household. Um, man, and my grandmother, we called her nanny, took in everybody, you know? Mm -hmm. A lot of my friends were dope boys, drug dealers. Mm -hmm. And a lot of them dressed alike. They all had on blue jeans and white t-shirts. Right. And they all knew <laughs> I didn't really have a, a bedroom in the house. So, oh, just knock on the, the, the window or something. She right there, she's sleeping on the floor. And I would be sleeping on the floor. Uh, you know, I had loyalty to them. Mm -hmm. You know, they protected me when I was out in the sh outside on that block, you know? Mm -hmm. They'd knock on my door, come on in, while the cops running around the corner and all that stuff. Right. I understand that, and sometimes you do what you gotta do to protect what's yours and what you love. Right, right. And at that time, you still needed to eat. Mm -hmm. So this story is about prison to redemption. How far will you go to protect your family and the ones that you love right. to feed them would you go as far as to being away from them for years at a time? And you know what? A lot of times we don't think like that. You know, we be in the right now. In the right now. Okay, this is what we have to do right now. Mm -hmm. You know? And I was that person. I was that right now person. You come to me, you know, and, and you need help. I'm going to help you. Mm -hmm. Not thinking about the reaper. I didn't think about none of that. None of that. You know what I'm saying? And everybody knew that I love my kids. Everybody knew, even like my closest people, they knew exactly like things that I went through throughout my childhood. You understand? And so, and for them to 
even know me as a mom. Just forget anything else. Just know me as a mom, knowing that I kept my kids, you know, and sheltered them and, and did everything for them. You know what I'm saying? But it's obvious that your kids are the passion in your life. That was the root, mm -hmm. you know, in hindsight, from that prison to redemption. And we didn't even get into like the meat and potatoes of mm -hmm. what we came to talk about. Again, Shamara and Friends, Dope Women Doing Dope Things. Um, basically, that was your why. Yes. And you wanted to continue to support them. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we still live in this country where opportunities are allotted to folks, but how far is that opportunity going to go? Right. You know? Right. 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 How far again, friend, will you go to feed and protect your family? Right. Will, will you do a bid? Right. Will you exhaust all possibilities while doing that bid? Right. Prison to redemption only to come out and become a successful entrepreneur? Right. Right. And friend, that's what life is all about, uh, to continue to exhaust those possibilities and strive to do more and more, just like Christina, Michelle, Christina always just mentioned. You know, I think, again, we're going to follow you. We're going to... Uh, we're going to reconnect. I love it. Because this, this whole little series that I'm doing, Dope Women Dope, Doing Dope Things, it's only supposed to be like two minutes long. But oh, I feel wow. like you really have a story, yeah. you know, that can be shared with, gosh, inside the Rainbow Coalition of stories that need to be told and shared. Um, again, thanks for joining us again out on location. CMJ Branding Agency, Shamara and Friends. Thank you to Spice. Thank you to John, the photographer. And thank you to Tora. What's up, Tor? What's up, Tor? <laughs> High five, friend. That means to motivate, inspire, and uplift just one. Yes.